Welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shea. Uh, today I will be showing you how to make these uh, beautiful flowers here. Uh, spring has just started since last Sunday and I think that I should just make uh, some spring looking flowers. So I will be making a headband today and I will be attaching these flowers on top of it. But I will also show you how, step by step, how to make these flowers and also how to put your band together. Okay, so let's get crushing, guys. Okay, guys, to start off, I will be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I will start off by making a slip knot. So you put your your hook in the yarn, sweep it around, pull up a loop here and pull it through. And there's your slip knot. Another way how you can do it, you can go like this, put it down on your pointing finger and then pull up a loop here. And that's another way how to do your slip knot. Okay, so I'm just going to make this a little bit tighter. I'm just going to pull it down, but not too tight. Okay, I'm just going to leave it right there. And then I'm going to chain three. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. Okay, so you're gonna yarn over. You're gonna insert your hook here in this first stitch here. You're gonna insert, pull up your loop. Pull through two. Pull through the next two. So now you have two double crochets. You're going to chain one. So what you will be doing is you're going to do two sets of double crochets and then chain one each time around until you reach a total of 12 double crochets. So I'm just going to go again, insert my hook, pull it up. Pull through two, then pull through the next two. Again, the same thing. Chain one. Always remember your chain one, guys. So I will meet you when I reach at the end of this first row here. Now I am at the end of my 12 double crochets. Now I am going to slip stitch here in the second stitch from the beginning one here. And then I'm going to cut my yarn. So I'm finished with that part for now. And I'm going to pull through. And there it is. I'm just going to tie the back here. Just to secure it. I'm going to give it two ties. And I'll be right back with you. So I have gone ahead and I have cut my excess yarn off and now I'm going to begin with a new color. So I'm just going to start here. You can start anywhere in one of these spaces. So that's what the, tra the chain one space was for because we're going to work in each one of these chain spaces. So I'm just going to insert my hook. 
and I am going to pull up here. And I'm going to chain two. So I have two there, the one that I chained before and then the next one. And then I'm going to yarn over and I will be making five double crochets. So I have already have my one and then I'll be making four more. one two three four and then the last one five then you're going to chain one yarn over insert in the next chain space here and you're going to basically do the same as you just did you're going to put five double crochets in the same space so that's two three four and five chain one yarn over and you're going to start another five here so you're going to continue doing this until you reach to the end and i will meet right back up with you always remember your chain one okay so now I have come to the end of my second row and I'm going to slip stitch in the second chain here. And then I am going to cut and I'm going to pull through and this tie the back here. Gonna give it another tie and then I'm gonna cut the excess off. There it is, and this is what the second row looks like. So now we're gonna start with our third row, and I will be using red. To finish this so you're just basically doing the same thing as you did before so I'm gonna start here Okay, so I'm just going to chain two, one, two, and okay, I think I start at the wrong part. So, yeah, I'm going to put my first one here. So you're working in between these um, double crochets here. So you will be putting two double crochets in between the spaces, in, in between each spaces. I'm just going to pull that down and then I'll be chaining my two. So I'll go back in, in the same space and I'll make one more. And in the next, make another two. Okay. 
So we're just making two double crochets in the same space. Now I'm at the last space here for this one. And I'm going to make another double crochet. Now that I'm through with this first one here, I am going to make one chain. Sorry, not one chain. I am going to close it. So I'm just going to close it in here. So you're going to make a slip stitch and that's one finish. Then you're going to yarn over and into the next space here. You're going to make two more double crochet. So go in between all spaces and make your two double crochets. Into my last here. And we're going to make a slip knot here. Sorry, I'm going to, we're going to make a, well, yeah, a slip knot here. And then we're going to be doing the same thing over, over until we finish this. And then we're going to slip, um, slip stitch here. Just as you slip stitch here, you're going to slip stitch here. So I'll see you then. So now I am at the end of my third row and I will be slip stitching in the chain here at the top. And I will cut my excess off. I'm just going to make a tie here. Make another one. And cut my excess off. And there it is. All done. Looking beautiful. So now I have a set of three. I will be making another one. So I will be using uh, lilac, pink, and white. So I'm gonna start the next one. So I'll be starting it by using white. So we're just basically going to do the same thing as we did before. So you're going to insert your hook, pull it around, make your slip knot, and chain three. If you notice, I made the first stitch here a bit loose, and then I made the other two uh, more tighter. And you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, and start doing the same thing over again. Uh, with this one, I actually made five petals. So I'm just going to do the same thing as well. Because these ones has six. I'm just going to make two of, two of this one with the five petals around. So for this one... Instead of doing 12 for your base, you will do 10 for your base. Okay, so I'm going to be making 10 of these with my chain one. And when I'm done, I'll be right back with you. Uh, with this one, I actually made five petals. So I'm just going to do the same thing as well because these ones has six i'm just gonna make two of two of this one with the five
petals around so for this one instead of doing 12 for your base you will do 10 for your base okay so i am at the end of the first round and i will be going to my second round i'm just going to start here One, two, and I'm basically going to be doing the same thing as we did before, but only thing this time you will have five uh, sets of petals instead of six. So I will meet you when you are at or I should say when I am at my last stitch. Okay guys, so now we're gonna start making our band, but be before we begin, I am just gonna show you how to make two different types of magic ring. So this is the first that I'm starting with. So you're gonna hold your yarn, your yarn like this. Put it like this, like a number eight. Pull it over and pull up your loop. But you're not going to pull it through. You're going to insert your hook, pull it down, pull that part down, and you're going to chain whether you want to chain one, two, three, and then you're going to just yarn over and you're going to continue making whatever types of stitches you're doing this is um double crochet that i'm doing here now and you just basically do that right around until you reach your desired amount and then this string here you just pull it when you're done like this and when you pull it it will just tighten the hold up but if you if you don't want it to be tied up if you want the hold to show you don't have to pull it you can just leave it. If you're gonna stick like maybe a pearl in there, you can just leave it hope open because it won't be as big as when you just started. Okay, so there is the first one. And for the second one, uh, just like this, pull your hook through, bring it around, pull up your loop and pull it through. Now I am going to make my first stitch here loose, very loose, and then the remainder uh, very close. So that's my first one. Here, it's gonna be my first, two, three. So that's three stitches. So we're gonna go inside this one that I made very loose. So I'm going to yarn over insert pull up your loop and there it is so that's another another magic circle okay so let's get on with our band our band so to begin we're just going to make our slip knot And we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Now, this one here on the hook does not count. So technically you're gonna have six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So to begin, you're gonna turn to the back of your work here. And in this second ridge where you see that bump, that's where you're gonna make your first half double crochet. So we're gonna be doing half double crochets for this one. Yarn over, pull up your loop, and pull through all three. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook in the bump, And pull through so basically this is what you're gonna be doing all throughout this round and remember when you're going to your second row make sure that you um, chain your one before starting another row and also make sure that each time you are stitching you have basically six stitches. So you have six of these, six half double crochets. So I'm at my last one now. So the reason why I am working in the back loop is because when you do that you get better edges so if you look you see like these and the top here is like these so this is how the edges of your band is going to look so you're going to chain your one here and you won't work in this v here on the on the hook you will work in this one. So yarn over, insert, pick up your loop, pull through all three. Again, do the same. So you're gonna continue doing this same pattern sequence until you reach a total of 50 sets of six so that will measure 16 and and uh, half on your measuring tape so when you reach your 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 um 50 sets i'll be right back with you make sure you have your measuring tape to measure um from this end to the end of where your 50 chain uh, stitches end and then you will know exactly um, how much stitches you have here and you will you will know the exact measurement so if it measures 16 and a half you know that you have the exact measurement because this headband here uh, it is for a uh, child size so this is this is a perfect band for a child so when we when you when I reach my six sixteen and a half chains, sorry, half double crochets or my band, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so now I am now through making my band and each stitches count. 50 and I can measure to show you the exact measurement so from this end to this end it is measured 16 and a half so now you know that you are at the exact 
right amount. So we're going to cut the excess uh, yarn off. And uh, you're going to join here. So pull this part out. And I am going to string my needle. And I am going to go in the extreme top here so I'm gonna go into two loops here and then I am going to go into one on this side so pull through Now I am at my last and then I'm just going to go in the extreme top and I'm just going to pull all of that through. And this is what the join in looks like. So now I am going to go here in the extreme top. And I'm going to go over in this side and I'm just going to pull it like that so it goes right. You can see that. So the edges are aligning. So what you can do is you can either weave in the rest of your yarn or you can use this one and tie it on this one and then you cut it so I think I'm gonna weave in here just a small amount I'm not gonna do the entire piece because it is rather too long I am showing there. So basically you can weave wherever you want to weave. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this part off. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So I went that way with that one. So I will go this way with this one now. I'm just gonna go in the top. And I'm going to 
gonna go down here. And I'm gonna cut my excess off. Okay, and your band is now completed. Okay, and it is stretchy as well. It has a good amount of stretch in there. So, I now have my flowers that I made. I'm just going to choose from these which to put on on my band because they're so big it doesn't make sense to put all of them on there so I am going to maybe put this one this one maybe I'll put three and put that one in the middle Nah. I'll see how it goes. I'll be right back with you. So guys, now I have decided what colors I will be using uh, to make my fan with what color flowers. So I'm going to be using these looking all pretty and I will be stitching them down with this yellow thread here so let me just do this one first and I'm just gonna go in the back it doesn't really matter what color thread you're using because it's not really showing And I'm just going to continue stitching. And when I'm through stitching down my flowers, I'll be right back with you. So guys, I am now finished making my headband and this is how it looks I sew them like uh, a little bit to side to the side of, of the band so I kind of slant it a bit so it can be worn slant which is more cute to me uh, when you have uh, flowers uh, on a headband and you slant it on your head um, it is very stretchy you can see all that stretch and it is looking beautiful and looking all ready for the flowers to be springing up and these ones that I didn't use I will use them for another project I'm not sure what I will use them for but yeah they're all cute Guys, if you enjoy watching this video of this spring headband, don't forget to give this video a like. Uh, also, click the notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again. Until next time, bye.